Hey there, I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the midweek message. Hey, have you ever received some wrong advice or maybe somebody gave you uh, wrong directions? All of us have had times in our lives where we've listened to uh, wrong advice or uh, maybe someone uh, sent us somewhere and it was the wrong place to go. Years ago, I was taking some youth from St. Luke's on a mission trip to Florida and I had one of those big white rental vans and I wasn't paying attention to the dashboard. I looked down and realized that I had been running on fumes. Uh, I don't know how long I've been almost out of gas, but I needed to find a gas station immediately. So I grabbed my phone. Um, I'm asking, you know, where is the nearest, you know, gas station? And as I am doing that, it says to turn off at the next exit. There's a gas station there. And then as I uh, pull off the exit ramp, it says recalculating or, or, or whatnot. And it's telling me I have to drive 5.6 miles down this road to find a gas station. And I'm thinking to myself, if I jump back on the interstate, what if the next exit isn't until 10 miles? And what if there's no gas station there? I could run out in two miles or five miles, but maybe my best bet is to go this 5.6 miles. So I start the turn, I start to go, and about 500 feet or quarter mile, whatever it was, there's a gas station right there that somehow the GPS did not find. And uh, fortunately it was there, and fortunately I didn't go 5.6 miles, because who, who knows if the GPS would have been right. You know, many of us go through times where we need direction. Perhaps it's a transition. My wife and family and I, we're going through a big transition as we're moving in August, and there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to a move. For others of us, maybe there's a health scare, maybe we're getting ready for a transition in life, like a uh, retirement, moving house, whatever it might be. Uh, this Sunday, we're honoring the graduates, the high school graduates, and uh, they're getting ready for a big transition. You know, for those of us who are believers in Christ, those of us who are Christians, we have the ultimate guide. And so often, we don't listen to that advice. You see, throughout scripture, we find out that we have a God who is personal, who wants to guide us as we go through life, through our flat times of just normal life, through our high times and through our low times, and especially through those transitions. Throughout scripture, um, as I said, we find uh, verses that uh, indicate this. The psalmist in Psalm 32 says, the Lord tells us, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. And then in that famous Psalm, in Psalm 23, we learn that the Lord is my shepherd. In Proverbs 27, 17, we learn that not only does the Lord guide us, he has called us uh, to love others and help each other along that path to bring them uh, to God. In Proverbs 27, 17, it says, as iron sharpens iron, so we sharpen one another. And then in James chapter one, uh, verses five and six, James, Jesus' brother, writes this, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. We have a God who is personal who wants us to go for him for guidance, for wisdom, who gives us the gift of other people to spur, in, to spur on and help each other on this path of life that we're on. The Lord wants to guide us. The writer of Hebrews in uh, chapter 10 in the famous verse says this, let us spur one another on towards love and good deeds and let us not give up the habit of meeting together. We have a God who loved us so much that he sent Jesus Christ to guide us, to take care of this problem of sin once and for all on the cross. He's called all of us to leave our lives of sin and put our trust in him. When we do this, he gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us. It uh, leads us to community, the body of Christ. It brings us to uh, a point in our lives where we realize that we can't do life on our own very well. Instead, we need God's guidance. We need the body of believers. And then we are called as individual believers to connect with God and to encourage one another, to spur one another on towards love and good deeds, to sharpen each other. 
to help each other as we go through those transitions in life. Let's remember these uh, profound truths that are vital to our faith and to our growth as believers in Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, guide us today through the power of your Holy Spirit. For those out there that are going through challenges or transitions, help us to lean into you all the more today. Lord, if there's neighbors or friends or people at St. Luke's that we need to encourage today, put them on our hearts. And Lord, uh, we pray for the, um, the church of St. Luke's. Help us to be a light to our community. Help us to be a guide to our community that points them to the one true guide that leads us to paths of life. And we ask this all in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, great being with you in this way. Look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Want to remind you that we're honoring graduates and our, we're praying for our mission, tri uh, mission uh, trip uh, team that is going to the Dominican Republic on uh, the 25th of this month. So this Sunday, the 18th, we'll be praying for that team and honoring graduates. Hope to see you all there. Have a great week.